Frankie goes to Hollywood. Hey, yo, Frankie. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. Thank you, Pacino. Back with another video. I know I said I wasn't going to be making any content, but I just had something to say. In Memphis, Tennessee, where I live, currently, by the way, there has been a string of senseless murders. Senseless murders of innocent people who are just working people delivery drivers, construction workers, you know, visitors, people who are just traveling through the city have been murdered. I want to inform most people who don't know, I've been a security officer since 2004 and I've been doing this 80% of this last 16 years of my life, at least 75%, 75% of the last 16 years of my life. I've been doing armed security since 2009. I've done apartments, I've, done, I've been in the hood, I've done projects, I've done clubs, I've done downtown festivals, I've done New Year's Eve, um, I have like videos when you see me do New Year's at Car Rock Cafe. I've done major events. I've done churches, uh, organization meetings, you name it, I've done it. Only thing I haven't done is a bank. But that's besides the point. What I say is that you got to understand that the job that we do is dangerous. There's no guarantee I come home. Like where I'm at right now, it seemed kind of quiet, right? But I'm in the hood. Anybody could jump this fence and do harm to me, right? That's a given. I hear gunshots through here all the time. You know, things happen. Um, there was a video, uh, one, of, one of the lives that I have, uh, I put on my memory lane not too long ago, where a lady could have got me killed. If the guy really wanted to just shoot me, he would have shot me. You understand? So, you know, people got to understand that there's some people who are in certain fields where it's not safe. Yeah, you might not like police officers, but some police officers are putting their life on the line and they have good intentions to come home. They have good intentions to not be uh, crooked, so to speak, who actually do their job, who actually do care about the people. Whether you like it or not, that's the truth. Every officer is not the same. And when you talk about security officers, when you talk about, you know, uh, fire, you know, fire department workers, uh, firemen, so to speak, um, it's dangerous for us just as much as it's dangerous just living in general. Innocent people get killed all the time. I want to just let, you know, let everybody know, man, life, life is just short. And it could be shorter depending on what happens. You don't know the time. You don't know the day. You don't know what may happen. You don't know if you want to wake up. You know, recently my uncle, you know, we just buried my uncle. My uncle died in his sleep. It's out of nowhere. You know, things happen. In this profession, I lost 20, I lost 20 coworkers to, you know, to, 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 to violence. I've been in club shootouts. I've been shot at. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I've been there and done that like I, I you know it's like I, I'm used to this like it's kind of like I can understand how a person like G Herbo could be diagnosed with PTSD like if you've seen this a thousand times you know if you've seen so many dead bodies you hear so many gunshots you get so immune to it it's simple it's, it's like it's like you get used to it, it don't even bother you life is precious man life is real precious man I lost my cousin earlier. My son lost three. My son lost three friends. 
and he's only 15 years old. And this this is 2020 to gun violence. You understand? My son lost three friends at 15 to gun violence. And this is just this year. We're not even going to talk about 2017, 18, 19. I just wanted to just say that, man. You know, life is precious, man. And, uh, you know, life is more important than petty bullshit arguments about, you know, bullshit. You understand? Like, you can be at the red light and get your brains blown out. You can have a car accident. Anything can happen, you know? I hate, you know, one thing I hate about human beings is that they're so, they're so cocky and arrogant that they think that it's a guarantee that you wake up and it's going to be okay. That you're going to live every day. Tomorrow's not promised to no one. No one. That's all I want to say. Second Pacino, another Pacino fact. I'm out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel by hitting the red subscribe button. And make sure you hit the notification bell. If you have problems receiving notifications, make sure you unsubscribe and then resubscribe and hit the bell again. On the right hand side, all of my channels will be available. And subscribe to all of them because with YouTube censorship, there's no telling where I might have to move around. So make sure you subscribe to all channels available. And if you have a cell phone, in the description box of each and every single upload, you can follow me on social media. You can also contact me via phone and email and there will be a link to each channel to subscribe to. And also, don't forget to check out my playlist, my vision series, and my uploads over the past few years. You can go all the way back to the memory lane as well. You would like to donate, Cash App, and PayPal. Dollar sign Huggy Pacino, PayPal.com forward slash Huggy Pacino. Thank you for watching. I am Huggy Pacino for the Huggy Pacino effect. Thank you. Hmm. Now that's Huggy Pacino certified.